Hey guys, uh, I have a special guest with me here today. Uh, you've probably, you know, heard some of our talks before. Um, I'm here with uh, comic book writer George McHale. Uh, George, how's it going? I'm doing great, man. Thanks for having me on the show. Hey, you're very welcome. Um, and we are actually we're recording this. Um, it's Thanksgiving where you're at. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> but um, we're kind of here to celebrate kind of sort of a different holiday. Um, you've got a Kickstarter coming up here uh, in regards to your series cover of Darkness. Uh, I was in doing my research this morning. I was catching up on, uh, on the series. Two things. One, if you have not read this book, um, it is, this comic is very much, it's a perfect spooky season book. Uh, we'll talk more about that in a minute. Two, uh, I realized I only have the first five issues, and it's a six-issue se miniseries, and that left me on a big cliffhanger, and it's like, I know what I need to do, like, the second this interview is over. Um, <laughs> but uh, let's let's talk about this. What's, what's this Kickstarter about, um, and what, do you, what are you doing with this wonderful world that you've built? So the Kickstarter is for the Cover of Darkness hardcover and card game. And so uh, what you get in the Kickstarter is all six issues <laughs> of the, the entire mini series um, in like a deluxe kind of really nice hardcover with a brand new cover. And it also includes uh, pinups and concept art as well. And uh, and then we'll, we've also created a card game, which is... Uh, just a really simple kind of fun game where you have to build the ultimate monster army. And uh, it's, it's based off of this old card game called golf. And I kind of reversed engineered it with like my nine year old daughter. <laughs> and we, we made this game that's just like really fun to play. So, and it's getting produced like professionally by source point press. And like, it's it, they're, all the cards are like tarot card size and they feature artwork from the book. And, uh, yeah, so the Kickstarter launch is October 18th, and uh, you can sign up now for uh, to be notified when it launches. And uh, what, what's next for the world of Cover Darkness? Uh, we have a one-shot coming out uh, November 23rd at uh, comic book stores, and it features uh, three short stories. Uh, it's called Cover of Darkness Origins, and it has uh, the origin story of our, of our first vampire, Orlok, and he's an elf. And he's riding the dragon. He's protecting the elf kingdom, and his niece, the queen, is uh, is sick, and it's up to him to try and find a cure for her. And it doesn't go very well. <laughs> and we also get to see the origin story of our bride of Frankenstein. Uh, in our version, it's Mary Frankenstein, the most brilliant inventor in all of Atlantis. And there's another short story in there. It's ninjas versus kaiju. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> So for the uh, unfortunate people who have not read any of Cover of Darkness yet, let's talk about that a little bit. What, what is this uh, series all about? Cover of Darkness is kind of like Game of Thrones meets Universal Monsters. It follows a family in medieval Romania that gets separated from each other, and they encounter all those kind of classic villains, vampires, werewolves, the mummy, creature from the Black Lagoon, and our Frankenstein. Um, it's about their journey back to each other. But one thing that's really fun about the series is that every issue is split between our family's adventure, they're on a collision course with the monsters, and the monsters' origin stories. So you get a standalone, kind of self-contained monster origin story in every issue, but they're all connected to each other. Uh, and we've reimagined the monsters, like in our version, the werewolves are Vikings. So we've kind of done like our own take on all the on all the monsters. Nice. So. <clears throat> And, and like you just mentioned, I mean, these are not the typical monsters that you remember from, you know, like the, the, the classic universal movies, you know, black and white, all that kind of stuff. Um, you've taken you, you've taken those, you kind of like spun them around a little bit. Uh, what were some of the challenges or just really like kind of talk me through, like, how did you decide to make the changes that you did and and why did you make the changes that you did? Well, the reason was because we just didn't want to tell the same story that people have seen before, right? We wanted to kind of put our own stamp on it. And 
what was a little difficult though was kind of choosing what parts of the lore to embrace and which parts to kind of you know ignore and kind of go our own direction with right um mm -hmm. like in our version the the vampires have the ability to control animals and i've seen that in some places but not always um we don't have them turning into bats i'm not saying that that's not possible but <laughs> that's uh, that hasn't been in our book at all uh and then you know with frankenstein um, we wanted to have some fun with them and we were trying to think like, well, what would make sense? Who would have the technology to reanimate a corpse? And that's where we came upon like, well, maybe the Atlanteans could have been able to do something like that because they were supposed to be so advanced uh, technologically. So that's kind of where that came from. So just taking like what we loved about these characters and then kind of finding a new direction to spin it off into. So let's let's kind of switch gears a little bit. Let's let's talk a little bit more about this card game because this is always exciting, you know, to kind of see, you know, like being able to put yourself, you know, into this world kind of. So uh, let's let's walk us through that. What are some of the basics of this game? So it's based off of this uh, card game called Golf, where basically you get six cards dealt to you, and they're all face down, and you put them in like a, a three by two grid. And you're allowed to look at the bottom set of cards one time only. And so you, you have to kind of remember what you've got there and where they are. And then the goal is to make pairs or three of a kind or four of a kind. And it gets, and, and so you you can replace cards as you draw them mm -hmm. and, and you want to make sets and cause you get bonus points for the sets essentially. And this was a game that I was playing a lot just with, with friends, this golf game with like regular playing cards. And I was like, this is kind of like the game that I want to play the most, especially like if you're, you know, having friends over, it's not overly complicated. So you can still kind of have a conversation, but it's, you can kind of screw yourself up by forgetting where the cards are. And then so it's a lot of highs and lows in the game, but it only takes about like 10 to 15 minutes to play it. And uh, so this was the game that I was really enjoying playing the most. So I was like, let's try and reverse engineer this. Cause in golf, you, like in the, like in the actual game golf, you have to try and get the, keep your score as low as possible. Mm -hmm. Same thing with that card game. So with our game, you want to get the, the biggest score possible. And we've created a bunch of kind of new bonus cards. Like there's a grave digger card where you can go through the discard pile and find, uh, uh, and find which card you need. Or there's a, a goblin card where you can steal a card from someone else. So there's we've added our own kind of twist on the, on the card game as well. And I've been playing it for about a year with like friends and and family. And like I said, my nine year old daughter and I put it together the first time just on like a little cue cards. We're just writing things up and and playing the game that way. And uh, and then now it's getting printed like on professional like tarot cards and the art's beautiful it's art from the books and stuff and it's really cool so it's it's neat to have developed this game and 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 to do it with my kid has been like so much fun too nice so how user friendly is this game for someone who is completely new to the cover of darkness world um, yeah, you don't have to be familiar with Cover of Darkness to enjoy the game. It's just a monster building kind of army, monster building army game. <laughs> but uh, you can learn how to play it in like five, 10 minutes. And yeah, and then each round. So it normally takes like 10 to 15 minutes to play. So like whenever we play, we usually play like three or four times, you know, just nice. kind of keep going. And yeah, it's it's a it's a fun game. And and we're offering it for like twenty dollars on the Kickstarter. So it's like, you know, I'm not not excessively priced. Yeah, no, that's yeah, especially for prices of some games that I've seen, you know, like whether it be card game, board games, whatever, like twenty dollars is a steal, basically. So that's awesome. Uh you said your Kickstarter is launching October 18th. Uh how long does it go for? It goes until November 8th. November 8th. Okay, awesome. You, you mentioned the cover of Darkness One Shot that's coming out uh, in, at the end of November. Um, what's, you know, what what is next for you, whether it's in the cover of Darkness World or other, you know, like uh, work with Source Point Press, because I know you've been doing a lot of stuff with them and that is just phenomenal, um, or just anything, you know, like 
that you're doing like independently? Anything that you can tell us? Um, so comic book wise, what's up next for me is these one shots through Source Point Press. We've got three of them all together. And I've been lucky enough to work with like some phenomenal creators on this. Uh, Rags Morales from like uh, Identity Crisis is uh, doing one of the short stories for us. Uh, John Delaney from Justice League Adventures. Uh, Andy Belanger who worked on Swamp Thing. Um, Nat Jones from like Spawn is, uh, is coming on to do a short story. So that's been pretty cool to just work with some of these different artists. And then I'm also working on a documentary right now. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I, uh, me and, uh, and my partner, uh, Andrew Buckley, on this project, he's a novelist. Uh, we won a grant. Uh, we were like applying to make a documentary and get funding for it. And it's called Nerds on the Run. <laughs> and actually, just yesterday, we were in Hope, BC for the 40th anniversary of uh, the release of uh, First Blood, the, you know, the first Rambo movie. Okay. So they had. It was the 40th anniversary. The town had a celebration there. They had like a tank there, like running over cars on Main Street, <laughs> which was pretty cool to see. And some of the actors were there. And we went up in a helicopter. Uh, we entered into like a, a Rambo lookalike contest. Mm -hmm. We didn't win, but I think we were kind of robbed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so unfair. <laughs> Yeah. So this documentary is like, it's, it's pretty cool. It's kind of like us going around and like learning how like geeky stuff gets made. We're going to like a, a film, uh, a film school. We're going to an animation studio. We're planning on going to Hatley castle, which is the filming location of the X-Men movies, oh, okay. like the Xavier mansion. So I'm having, a, I'm having a lot of fun making this thing. Uh, so that it's been kind of like a, an idea of mine for a long time and actually getting this grant has like been like awesome because it's like all right now i don't have to invest all my own money into making this thing so it's been super cool nice nice so what kind of work went into receiving the grant was it just like an application or like did you have to like kind of you know show what you wanted to do or yeah we had to um fill out an application write like essentially like an essay as far as like uh, what the project is, why it's important to us, why we think people would like it. We had to film a video, um, you know, kind of talking about the project and uh, and then design like some simple like kind of box art and things like this for it. Uh, yeah, it was kind of cool because like this is my first time ever applying for a grant and we got it. And other people I've talked to have been like, man, I've been trying for years. And I've never gotten anything. And I was kind of surprised because like usually when they like give out money for these sorts of things, it's like on like serious subject matter, you know, and it's like heavy documentary kind of stuff. And I'm like, this is kind of like comic book man meets like a travel show. And I'm like, that's not like important stuff. It's something I would watch, but it's not, you know what I mean? It's not like uh, hard hitting like journalism or anything. So I was really psyched to get it. Nice, nice. Now, I know we talked, uh, last time we talked, uh, we mentioned your uh, YouTube channel. Uh, how's that going? It's been good. Yeah, we, uh, I, I'm, so I have two channels. I have one called Inside Comics, and the other one is called Inside Movies. Um, Inside Comics is an interview show, and I talk with uh, different creator guests, kind of all of, of all experience levels, and uh, we talk about just how comic books get made, and things to do and things not to do. So it kind of has everything I wish I knew when I was getting started in there. And that one's been fun. And then the other one that I have inside movies, it's me and uh, three other like writers and artists. And we talk about mostly like 80s and 90s action movies, but we kind of do like a little bit of everything on there. And it's just like, it's old movies, like generally, and we don't usually do new movies. And it's just us kind of jamming on what we think about them. And it's been a lot of fun. I really enjoy uh, the people that I uh, make inside movies with. Andrew, the the guy I'm doing the documentary with, is also one of the panelists on on Inside Movies, and we just nerd out. Um, one of our videos kind of went, I don't know, viral or whatever, but we got like twenty five thousand views for one of our Rambo uh, movie reviews. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So that that, that was good. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of a struggle. I find like getting like YouTube subscribers way harder than like uh, getting like Instagram followers or something like that. Like 
people are a little bit like they hold on to like their subscriptions because they don't want it like showing up in their feed if they're not going to watch it <laughs> <laughs> right right so um George, we're going to uh, we're going to wrap this up again. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to, to talk with us uh, one more time. Give us the details about your upcoming Kickstarter campaign. Yeah, cover of darkness, the hardcover and card game launching October 18th. Um, it's a shared universe of horror characters that I, if you like monsters, if you like spooky stuff, you're going to love this. And if you like adventure and fantasy, we also have goblins and orcs and dragons in the series as well so um yeah click the if if you can put a link into it uh the link to the kickstarter and go and uh, sign up to be notified for when we launch nice yep and and again like you know total you know total free endorsement here yeah cover of darkness is is so much fun um if you like if you know if you like monsters and scary stuff this book is just it's phenomenal uh but george thank you so much and uh best of luck on your kickstarter thank you thanks much